Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Hayato's Equips and Damage. Uh, this is part 2. I did make a previous version, but that was quite a while ago. And I got some completely new equips now, so I'm going to be showing that off. As you all should know by now, I did quit my Night Lord to main a Wind Archer. However, I am second maining um, my Demon Slayer, Hayato, and Dark Knight. I might even throw in some Kaiser videos if it gets to that. Maybe even some Hero videos, but that's not really... Um, part of what I plan on doing however it just might uh, come to that so that being said let's go ahead and take a look at my equips alright so starting I got nothing on the codex it's just plus one all next is my spiderweb pointy hat we got this from event it's a pretty nice hat uh, especially for people who are very unfunded it gives 10 attack 20 all and it comes with two slots I believe however I failed one and the bonus uh, the potential is pretty useless so that's my hat uh, next we have my Night Lord's Mask. Well, it used to be my Night Lord's. I gave it 4 more attack and I recubed it to 3% dex as opposed to 3% luck. So it gives 16 weapon attack, 20 luck, 3% dex. That's actually 17 weapon attack because of the bonus potential. Forgot to point that out. And it still has 2% luck. So yeah, that's my mask. Next, the next legend medal. You get this from having a level 200 character. Um pretty standard metal but it's one of my favorites because it gives such good stats next is my black fist cloak it's four attack clean and it has 18 percent strength 12 magic defense 12 percent magic defense so it's a pretty nice cape uh, yeah next is my night lords white raccoon mask that's anvil to a spectrum goggle 12 attack uh, I believe 13 percent luck however it does give six percent all stats so uh, that's why I use it still, 6% strength. Next is my strong machine gloves, it's only 14 attack, but it does give 16% uh, strength. So pretty nice, decent glove, um, don't plan on upgrading it. Next is my blue Neos top, it's 17 strength, 2 dex, and 18% strength, along with 2% dex in the bonus potential. So it's a really nice top, not going to be upgrading this. Next, violet snowshoes, 8 strength and 15% strength pretty standard uh, you know just a nice uh, amount of percent strength for not that expensive so that's that next is my green Neos pants 10 strength 3 dex and 18% strength as well so these two are pretty uh, similar they both have some percent all stats so as you'll notice about my Hayato or all my warrior gear for that matter is that they have a lot of percent all stats which is um a little bit better than just having strength alone because it also does give dex so yeah that's pretty cool next my uh, belt 11 strength 50 16 percent strength along with six percent max HP which is again is always good uh, max HP is actually one of my favorite potentials to have on equipment so yeah um, 16 percent strength not bad next is my pendant from when they were super easy to obtain uh, it's just 6% strength, 11 strength, 1 attack, nothing special. Uh, next, legendary ring, nothing special at all from an event. Again, tempest ring, 6% strength, however it does have 3% all stats and it is 5 attack. Uh, scrolled myself. Curb rocks ring, pretty uh, useless ring, but I don't plan on upgrading it at all, so it's just 2 attack, 3 all. You get this for free at level like, uh, I guess 60 or something. Next, Absolute Ring. This is also from an event. However, I had to buy mine because I was too lazy to log in for the event. So, it's 15 attack, 18 all. You cannot get potential on this item, but it's an incredibly strong ring, especially for those who are unfunded. I hope you guys took advantage of the event. Next, my Kodachi or Wakizashi. Um, it's only 3 line epic with 12 strength. I do plan on cubing this. Uh, I just bought it like this because it's already 3 line epic. So that's it. It's 2 attack, 4 strength, plus 12 strength in the pot. Tempest Epaulet, which is the shoulder. Uh, 3 attack, 6 all, 6% 6 strength. Nothing special at all here. Next we have my earring. It's 19% strength, 5 strength in the bonus potential, and 3 weapon attack. Uh, I bought it like this. I did not scroll or cube it. And yeah, I really like it because it also has 9% all stats and it also has that HP recovery items and skills effect by 30%. So it's a really, really nice earring and I got it for a nice price. Last but not least is my weapon and I really, really love it. It's 79 strength, 58 dex, 181 attack and it's only plus 5 so I could 
clean slated if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. And it's also 20% boss, 13% crit rate because of the bonus potential and the regular potential, and a great 6% strength. So this is an amazing weapon for me. Uh, it's the perfect thing that I wanted for my Hayato, and I really love how it looks in-game. So yeah, that's my weapon, and it even has a nice little strength plus 6 in the bonus potential as well. So uh, that just makes it a total of 85 strength, and I really love it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and buff up for you guys. So this is my clean range without any buffs on. 53k to 66k. And now with buffs. Eighty-seven K. So I get up to eighty-seven K and my little uh, aura there does about two hundred two hundred fifty Ks. Critical that is. And with my one V one bossing skill I do about two hundred Ks. Uh capping at about three hundred K. So that's really nice. Uh, as you can see, my crit rate is pretty high. Critical 61%, uh, boss 35%, ignore defense 36 and I got about 400 weapon attack, so it's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, this nice. skill does up to, I think, like 500k's probably, 450k-ish. Uh, I did 480k, so yeah, it caps at about 500k for me. So, that's my damages. Yeah, that skill does a lot. That skill does a lot. We'll go ahead and use this for you guys. That just does a bunch of 500k's pretty much. Go ahead and use this. Bunch of 250k's and we'll go ahead and use this. However that also gives a buff to my damage range so I am at 90k uh, buffed. Pretty good if you ask me. I really love Hayatos. They're honestly such a fun, great class. Uh, they're not strong at all, if you ask me. I mean, their numbers are pretty low, but they are extremely fun. I mean, there's not many classes where you could do this on, like, do this kind of stuff, this kind of comboing, and I just love it. So yeah, that's all for my Hayato equips plus damage video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. I hope you found it informative so you guys don't have to worry too much um, about what he's wearing to do this kind of damage. So you can use this as a reference to um, you know try to come close to to do damage like this and whatnot. So thank you all for watching. This has been a sort of production. See you all later.